We begin Fox 6 with an exclusive, grabbing the microphone and the spotlight. Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice David Prosser did both when we attempted to speak with him today about the serious allegations of a physical altercation with Justice Ann Walsh Bradley. Fox 6's Mike Lowe spoke with four of the seven members of the court in this Fox 6 exclusive. Did she come at you? Justice David Prosser grabbed our microphone, but on second thought, he decided he didn't have any use for it. He didn't want to answer any of our questions. Justice Prosser, what happened in that room? We gave him several chances to respond to the allegations that he choked fellow Justice Ann Walsh Bradley. Is there a reason you won't explain what happened to the public? Instead, he turned his back on us in the elevator and stormed into his chambers. Six of Wisconsin's Supreme Court justices witnessed an alleged physical altercation between Prosser and Bradley in Bradley's chambers on June 13th. The basic story is that Prosser was upset about Chief Justice Shirley Abrahamson's decision to delay the release of the high court's opinion in the contentious collective bargaining case. The story was leaked, presumably by the justices themselves, to both liberal and conservative publications. Both cited unnamed sources. But Bradley was quoted later as saying Prosser placed her in a chokehold. Prosser has since denied that. We couldn't find Justice Bradley, and she hasn't responded to our requests for an interview. But we did speak with Chief Justice Shirley Abrahamson, who witnessed the altercation. Tell us uh, what happened in that room. Did Justice Prosser choke Justice Bradley? As you know, this matter is under investigation, and uh, I think that's an upset at the moment. Thank you for coming to see us, though. Why can't you talk about it? This is a matter of public interest. Uh, you're a member of the high court not the royal court, you owe an explanation to Wisconsin, don't you? The matter is under investigation by the sheriff's department and the judicial commission, and um, let's wait and see how that turns out. Justice Annette Ziegler, another one of the witnesses, didn't answer our questions either. Don't you believe that Wisconsin is owed an explanation as to what happened, given that the trust in the court has been breached? You know what? I really don't have a comment, so thank you very much. I hope you have a nice day. And Patrick Crooks was the only justice who did not witness the alleged scuffle. You believe that Justice Prosser choked Justice Bradley? I wouldn't comment on that. The Dane County Sheriff's Department is conducting a criminal investigation, and the Wisconsin Judicial Commission has opened an investigation to see if the code of judicial conduct was violated. If the Judicial Commission finds wrongdoing, it would be the Supreme Court that would have the ultimate say-so on disciplinary action. You're the only one who didn't witness it. That would leave you as the only one to make the decision then, right? I wouldn't form a quorum by myself. It doesn't work that way. Since six of the seven justices are witnesses, they would have to recuse themselves. Any decision on discipline would likely be made by a three-judge panel appointed by the Chief Justice. There are several people raising questions about your leadership of the court. Do you want to respond to that at all? This matter, which has raised that question, is under investigation. And uh, why don't we just wait and see? Observers of the court say the justices are bitterly divided along partisan lines. Thursday is the end of the term, and their written opinions on a variety of cases will be issued soon. The court is going to meet today as it has met all week and continue on with its business. So thank you for coming to see me. A word about our tactics. Normally we wouldn't approach Supreme Court justices like this, certainly not about cases they're deciding. In those matters, they speak to us through their written opinions. But the allegations here are so serious and call into question the integrity of the court and its ability to render justice based on law and not partisan political views that we felt we had to speak with the justices themselves. After all, they're the only ones with information about what happened, and so far, they're not going on record about the details of that. Mike Lowe, Fox 6 News.